Welcome back to Minmel. It's Logan. Um, over the weekend, I shot the buck Fanny. The deer showed up about four years ago, and he was a little bitty, uh, 4 to 4 4 um, You know, right off the bat, I knew we had some, uh, an opportunity to be something special. Um, he was really young, and he kind of had a big vein on the side of his cheek. But uh, yeah, that's Fanny. That's just, the name stuck ever since. Um, the second year we had him, he's a little six point, and then the third year he's an eight point. He scored about 115. We're like, well, you know, wish he'd go quicker. And then the fourth this year, um, checked him on game camera, didn't have him for the first couple of weeks, and then boom, there he was, um, unannounced, showed up, and we're like, wow, this is this is him. This is this is Bainey. Yeah, again, I'm just so excited to you guys get to see their reactions of the buck and their their first takes of him. Because um, I know mine was special. I uh, broke down. It's emotional. I don't know if anybody's ever shot a big buck and had all their buddies come on. I'm sure you guys have, but it's just, it's an emotional ride. And I'm so grateful that, uh, you know, all of our sponsors with, with First Light and, you know, my dad with uh, Pure Country Builders and BMJ Builders and Spectrum Designs. Huge shout out to them. We couldn't be doing this without them. Um, but I'm just excited for you guys to check out the rest of the video and uh, share my story with you. Um, when we first seen him, uh, he had full full velvet on, and we're like, wow, this deer has a lot of potential to be a big buck this year. Um, he started out, he didn't have all the kickers on him or any of the, kind of the junk on him. We were like, wow, this is a clean looking deer. And uh, he started out, and we were like, well, okay, let's see if we can keep him coming in here, keep him, you know, you know, he had him passing through. And now, we didn't really have him, he wasn't active, but he was there. He'd show up and disappear. Um, and then last year when we had him, you know, he didn't really have any of the junk he had this year. Um, and no one has seen this buck in person. Um, he's been a ghost. No one's seen him. Um, in daylight, um, we got pictures of him at nighttime and a couple of daylight, but never never sitting in a stand or on a blind or on the ground, never had him come into us. It happened. He came in, and I was sitting with my girlfriend, Olivia, and we were sitting there, and it was right at dark. And I was getting ready, I was actually packing donuts in my bag I brought for a stand, or I brought for the stand snack, you know how that goes. And I was packing them in my bag and I just look up and he was standing there looking at us. And I had the camera, you know, ready to film, but I just told Olivia, I was like, don't move, don't move. He's like, you cannot move, he's, he's right there in front of us. And uh, so we didn't get it on film, unfortunately, but uh, I pulled back on him. I didn't even have time to range find him. Um, all I could see was horns and his silhouette of his body, and I shot him. Knew I made a pretty good shot, just the way the smack of the sound, and I shot, and you could hear, hear him crash. And we got pretty pretty excited when, they were, when we heard that. Um, I ran up, ran up to the hill, and I, I didn't know how big he was. Went down, looked at my arrow, it was, it was covered in blood, and that's when it sat in. I didn't, I didn't know, at that moment, I didn't know if it was him. But I knew he was big, knew he was wide, knew he was tall, so I said, like, hey, it's got to be him. Uh, as soon as I picked up the phone, I knew I could tell by the emotion in his voice that something just wasn't right. And Logan's been my best friend since first grade. And I really knew that kid. And how he was talking on the phone, I knew, I knew something went down. And all I got out of him was that it was big and tall, and he didn't know which deer it was. And he calls me, and I just hear the excitement in his voice. It just starts out, Vane, he's dead. Vane, he's dead. He shot him. He shot him. And man, the excitement through the phone just gave me chills through the phone. It was absolutely incredible. And I remember, I just, everyone, everyone got to get up. got to get up. I got to go. I got to go. And I remember going through town, and when I hit the high school, I guess I was going around, and it wouldn't go anymore. Just anxious the whole time. Just so excited. Come over, buddy. Shot a good one. And you know how hard he's been hunting for that deer. Austin got there and just... I mean, I hopped out of the truck, got on my crutches, and I was in his truck in no time, we started flying out of the farm. I get to him, and I, I, I'm running up the hill at this point, and they're like, what's going on, what's going on? I said, like, well, I shot a buck, I don't know how big he is for sure, I, I just, I kind of told him that what, happened, what happened, and uh, they instantly like, you, you've done it, you've shot him, you've shot this ghost deer that we've never seen. So, let's start tracking him. Start shaking, start getting nervous. They go down there. Uh, we find my arrow, and it's just it's coated in blood. So as we were rolling to the gravel road, we pulled to the gate to Wise's farm. There's blood was going, adrenaline was rushing, and we were just anxious to see this deer. Just absolutely excited. He already texted us. He found it, and just we were just ready to see the deer. And as we were pulling down the 
pulling down his steep, steep driveway down to the cabin, we seen headlights coming up to us, and we realized it was Olivia and Logan. And in no time, I mean, me and Walt just out the door, like, fast. And I didn't have time to grab my crutches. I hopped all the way to him, and just, we all three just hugged. I mean, it was pretty emotional hugging like that, and just all the excitement going through the air, it was crazy. It started really setting in then, I was like, wow, I've, I've made a good shot on this deer. Um, let's start tracking him. So we started going down the hill, um, and it gets just a drop off straight down. Um, you know, so we, I had no idea that he was going to show up the time he did, because he'd never done that before. And uh, so we get down there, we're going down the hill, we start finding blood, and he's just pouring. And we're like, okay, this deer, this deer's going to die. I just knew it. And we walked maybe 70 yards, and, and there he was. He was uh, kind of laying down on the tree. Yeah, I think he hit that and crashed into the tree. And uh, just heart started pumping, got emotional. He had this grin on his face, and I said, he's killed something, Dwayne. He, he called me, he goes, I just shot one. He said, I don't know if it's Vaney or not. Ooh. Fifteen minutes later, he calls me, he goes, awesome, it's Vaney. My name's Logan Wise. I just shot the buck Vaney. Uh, we've been hunting him down here for four years, and I got it done tonight. I'm glad I get to experience it with some of my buddies. It's emotional. Um, but it's... It's awesome. I've never felt this way in my life. Yeah. I mean, it was right at dark. I, uh, all I could see was his antlers big and wide. Uh, we have another buck that kind of looks like him, but he's a little bit smaller. So I was like, well, I'm not going to pass him up just in case it wasn't him, you know. Hill got to my dad and my brother-in-law, and they were standing up there. They had come down to get me, and I already met him halfway. And I, I knew he was big, but I didn't know how big he was. And then we went down there, we followed him down there, and got a good look at him. And, and been chasing this deer for a while. So him and Dakota flew down here, called Grant, and he brought his friend Cody here. And I'm just ready to get their experience and get their, their live reaction to seeing the buck for the first time. I was ecstatic. I didn't know what else to think. I was just like, I've done it. I, I've, I've shot this ghost deer that we've never seen in person. Um, the story of Amy is it's finally came to an end. And we started going down there and we got the Rage Broadheads, and I bought the arrow from First Light Outfitters. So, I need to go give Eric a hug. Yep. I can go down there and mark where he's at, just to give you an idea of how far you're oh, going. No, we'll just react. Yeah, we'll just Come off to your right. I will. Yeah, hey, there he is. Yeah, that way. Oh, yeah. Just that. He hit so hard that uh, we had blood clear down there yeah. when he fell. There's actually a good blot of blood right behind Logan right there. That's him. It's Dakota broke his foot, so he's in the mule watching uh, for the bear, but uh... The bear comes down here? Here, I'll shoot the bear. Nah, uh... I cannot believe you killed this deer. Unbelievable, dude. And in the video, you'll hear you'll hear the phrase, yeah, baby, yeah. And me, Logan, and Bobby, and Bill, Bill Moss always say that at work, is yeah, baby, yeah, that's our sign. The other thing is, I just want to thank my dad. He's taught me everything that I know hunting-wise. It's just, it was a crazy time to get to experience this whole thing with him. He shot giant deer all of his life, but it, it's just a different connection when you get to hunt with your dad and get to, you know, film and do everything with him as well. And I felt like it was just cool to, you know, get his reaction and, and you know, just get to hug him after after killing that big deer. It's just not, it's not like anything else. And I just want to thank him for being patient with me when I was younger and just teaching me everything I know. And I couldn't thank him enough. I'll tell you right now, I've killed some big ones. This is a good one. I'm proud of him. Click here to subscribe. Click here to go to our previous video. And thank you for watching.
Yeah, baby, yeah!